Greetings Roboteers and welcome to Robocraft. Here, your skill as an engineer and combat pilot will be put to the test in gruelling battles to control the precious resource known as Protonium. But first, you'll need to learn the basics. This is your garage. There are many like it, but this one is yours. And it's here that you'll build your war machines. Of course, the garage is simply a place to store your robots. So how do you go about building one? Let's start with your inventory. Accessible by pressing Q, this is where you store all of the blocks you currently own, and they're split into five categories. These are chassis, this is where you'll find armor cubes, movement. In the beginning, you'll only have access to wheels, but as your career as a roboteer progresses, you'll gain access to more exotic modes of transport. Hardware, generally speaking, this is where you'll find weapons or shields. Special, here you'll find miscellaneous components such as electronic warfare or countermeasures. And finally, cosmetic. Here you'll store components such as vapor trails, nameplates, and of course, the all-important hollow flags. Hovering your mouse cursor over any component will give you additional information on its capabilities, and clicking on one will return you to the garage with that component ready to build. To add more components to your inventory, you'll need to purchase them with Robo Points, which are earned from your performance in battles. This is done in the Cube Depot, accessed by pressing C. Be aware that when buying components, they'll first be added to an order list along the right side, and you can cancel part or all of the order by pressing the orange X. When you're satisfied with the order, click on the Buy Cubes button. Lastly, it is possible to sell cubes you own back to the depot. However, the cube depot will only buy cubes at 50% of their original cost. Finally, let's discuss the tech tree. Accessed by pressing T, this is where you can spend your tech points to unlock new components which will then be available for purchase in the cube depot. Along the left of the screen there is a list of tech points and their tiers that you've earned, and in the centre of the screen you can navigate the tech tree itself and review or unlock new technologies. But be aware that before unlocking any tech, you'll have to have unlocked one of the nodes neighbouring it on the tech tree. But now that you know your way around the garage, as well as how to spend your resources, a final word on how to earn them. Robo points and tech points are all earned directly through performance in battle, from inflicting damage on your enemies, providing useful intel to your teammates, or simply winning a match. The better you perform, the more points you can expect to earn. Your maximum CPU allowance, the measure of how complex and heavily armed your robot can be, is dictated by your player level, which will tend to rise more gradually. But as with robot points and tech points, the better you do, the faster you'll make progress. And with that, you know the basics and can get to work designing your very first robot. Good luck, Roboteer, and have fun.